Well, well, well. Inviting Dylan Mulvaney to your educational channel for toddlers. How does that make you feel? <coughs> I brought in my wonderful wife and mother of our five children to discuss it. I hope you enjoy. Welcome back to Freedom to Think. I have my lovely, wonderful hostess, Keegan, my wife, uh, for another episode. Thank you for coming on with us. There's kind of trouble in paradise right now for a lot of the moms out there. And this is why I got Keegan on the show. Uh, a notable YouTuber kind of internet personality, Miss Rachel, who makes a lot of uh, content for children and specifically toddlers. Which we actually used because our third son, third kid, um, took forever to talk. So I found this for him on yeah, YouTube, and it was actually pretty good. And then I saw a very questionable, uh, questionable individual that was the guest on there, and I was like, uh, no. So then, yeah, I saw her in like a couple episodes, and I'm just like, nope. Like her actual speech help and whatever was great, but I'm not doing that. There seemed to be the undertones of activism that were yeah. kind of a part of the the show. So yeah, I saw that like a year or two back. I don't remember when. Right. But um, yeah, I was like, I'm not like gonna ban them off, like try to get them banned off the internet or whatever. But like, I'm not interested in that kind of influence so, right no I, thank you i think that's very important because it's not bigoted to say i don't want my kids to have this or that influence and specifically in the, the crazy world we live in right now there's a lot of influence that is shoved in your face and they're trying to move you aside and shove it in your children's face. And that's kind of the big problem. Oh, yeah. Having. Well, you have to be aware, number one. And then, yeah, number two, like, I don't care if they want to do the weird crap, but like, number one, people need to know about it. And then number two, it's your choice. So if you're like, I don't, I'm not interested in my kids being influenced by that, you need to be aware. And it's your choice if you don't want them to see that. So I like, I don't care if it, if people are like, oh, that's mean or whatever, that's going to hurt somebody's feelings. Like, I don't give a crap. Yeah. We have five kids at the moment under 10. So the, the stuff with the early childhood, the toddlers, all that, it's, it's very relevant and it's very personal to us. So that's why I wanted to make a video on this because a, a day or two days ago, this dropped from the post millennial. It says massive kids YouTuber, Miss Rachel invites Dylan Mulvaney to appear on songs for littles show. And we'll show you, here's the screenshot. But yeah, that's the slippery soap slope from the previous guest I'd seen on there that was very questionable in my opinion. I was like, no. And then it evolves into this, Dylan Mulvaney being invited. So yeah, no thank you. You have the Dylan Mulvaney live stream on TikTok and then Miss Rachel comments, sometime when you're in NYC, you should be on our show, Songs for Littles. We love you and your singing. There's several problems here. Uh, and I see in the comments, there's, yes, a Miss Rachel Dylan collab is what us moms need. And it's like, what moms are you talking about? What moms need a transgender man to woman to come on the toddler show to sing for the kids? I think she's referring to us moms as a single household. That's what they need. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, and then the other moms are saying, absolutely not. I would skip that episode. I'm probably going to skip her altogether. And if you've listened to Dylan Mulvaney sing. Monday can't get out of bed. Tuesday morning, pick up meds. Wednesday, retail therapy. Cash or credit, I say yes. Thursday had a walk of shame. Didn't even know his name. We didn't even have sound and I, I'm uncomfortable again. But the point is that... They're saying we need a collaboration between the transgender influencer <laughs> and the toddler speech therapy lady. Who, it has nothing to do with it. Right. Like, it's, it's just injecting the ideology. And that's the big issue. That's the giant issue. And it's coming from the top down. We know we live in like a very red county in a, a red district of the red county. You know, and our school system locally at the elementary level is pretty good. We have insider knowledge from the high school and we have insider knowledge from the middle schools, from people that we know in education locally. 
And we are being told that it is flipping. So the college people get their degrees and then they come in and then they're teaching the high schoolers this garbage ideology. And now it's moving into the middle schools and we got the kids identifying as animals. And we got this like racism is based on like what race you are because there's like the oppressor versus the oppressed category of people. So it's, it's really bad. I just think it's a problem. Like the younger the kids are because they're more influenceable and like they don't have, they don't have discernment. Yeah. Discern. Yeah. But yeah, they're, they kind of just take everything in like the younger they are versus like a high schooler who's kind of been raised in more of a conservative household. If they saw that, they're like, uh, no, something's wrong with you. But if you're like five, you got the tooth fairy, the Easter bunny and Santa Claus. Oh yeah. So you don't really know like like, what's real. And so so you have these kids at that age, of course you can convince them with a super, super bought into the ideology person that anything is possible. Like, like win them over with candy. I mean, it's right. pretty easy. It's versus a, like a 18 year old is a little bit harder, but still influenceable. Right. But, it's harder, but college does a good job of churning out commies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's definitely not impossible, but yeah. yeah, the younger, in my opinion, the younger it is, the, the more of a problem that it is. Yeah. It does more damage in less time. I think that's the big thing. It's like with a very small child, it's like you get them in around that situation and then small moments can be damaging versus like having a a boarding school for four years with a Marxist professor group, you know, that, that basically does the same thing, but it takes quite a bit more time, a community of like-minded, not so smart people (laughs) being cheered on by top, top dogs that are, you know, just commie Marxists that want to destroy the nuclear family, uh, the principles of the country, essentially. This Miss Rachel character, as you can see, has a 9,000,097 subscribers on YouTube. It was, it was said it was 10 million, but I bet she dropped a little since then, since dropping this news. It's very possible. Invitation. So. Yeah, it is definitely very possible. And so you can say, oh, the wicked conservatives are taking something out of context and whatever. It's like, I don't know that there's anything out of context. We have this. Yeah, woman. it's not out of context. And it's your own choice if you want to subscribe to that crap or not. So. Like people could still. Watch that if they want, but. Right. And so, like, here's the issue. We're over here. Here's the website. Miss Rachel, learn, bond, thrive. You go to the about section. It says Rachel Griffin Accurso. She, her, already gigantic red flag. That's it. That's like the number one red flag. You got pronouns in your bio. And that means you buy into gender ideology, or at least you don't oppose it. It's the same thing. Not opposing is buying into it. It is the same. Yeah, at this point, it is completely the same. And it says she's a passionate educator who creates research-based videos to help toddlers and their families learn, bond, and thrive. Videos infuse songs, games, nursery rhymes with strategies from experts to help children reach important milestones in the crucial early years of learning. She believes all children are capable, brilliant, and important. She loves learning from them and being around their courageous joy and wonder. And then the scary part, Rachel has two master's degrees in education. She has one in early childhood development and one in music education. She is an advocate for children's rights and works to ensure that all children have access to high quality early education. She is an ambassador for Save the Children and Room to Grow. Yeah, that second to last sentence is very, yeah. It's got some key words in there. Yeah, children's rights, like children's rights to... uh, what what is to learn that? about trans like what to be to get gender affirming care their rights for the state to come in and take them from the parents who disagree that they're not a frog or a fox or the opposite gender the opposite of the two genders but then you have experts doctors professionals who are advocating for the absurd and then teaching that to children. And then make a ton off of the therapy and the, well, both types of therapy. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, so. yeah the money, I mean, it's just, we're gonna cut through the bull because I just don't care anymore. 
So it's Munchausen syndrome by proxy from the mother. It's absolute spineless cowardice weakness from the father. It's evil from these commies that are just using this tool of gender ideology to destroy the nuclear family. And then it's greed from the pharmaceutical companies and the therapists that basically get six or seven figures on every person that they convince can solve their problems with pills and knives. Yeah, there's a bunch of people that profit from that versus the conservative route. Like nobody really makes money from that, but it's like normal. <laughs> well, yeah, the conservative route is, oh, I guess you're a tomboy. Nothing really changes. It's like you can you can use tools and you can fish and you can hike and you can hunt. Doesn't mean I'm questioning. Just mean like it doesn't mean anything. It's like you're a tomboy. You know what? Tomboys make great moms <laughs> and housewives and homemakers. So, you know, Keegan, would you say you were the girliest of girls when you were growing up? Not even close. <laughs> Not no. But you look lovely in a dress and you have five kids had together. <laughs> There's not really a weird questioning thing. It's just you were a tomboy for a little bit. Anyway, this is kind of like a warning video that you need to be aware of the ideology of the people who are in the care of your children. And if it's a red line for you, like it's a red line for us, if you have pronouns in your bio and you're trying to bring Dylan Mulvaney in to your child show. Then you're out. <laughs> you're out. It's over. So... I guess what, Tuttle Twins? <laughs> Get the Tuttle Twins up in here. I don't even know what to say, man. But thank you so much for bringing this to my attention because, uh, yeah, we have we have the little kids. I want to share with the the YouTube space what's going on in in with children. That's one of my one of my uh, I guess pillars of content. Now, just to be transparent, this happened last year. And Dylan hasn't like formally accepted the invitation or anything like that. But it doesn't matter because it was out there from her. So if she went into the live stream, Dylan Mulvaney's live stream and invited him personally, it doesn't matter if he comes on or not, in my opinion. Right. It's just the fact that you would entertain that already. Yeah. That's you. The ideology is already there from her and he could potentially come on anytime or she has other like-minded guests like... Yeah, she's already out. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not right. So I'm just I'm just letting you guys know. There, there wasn't some special that happened. This is just that she already follows Dylan Mulvaney and then went into Dylan's live stream and then made the offer in Dylan's live stream in the comments. And as you said, she had guests that appeared to be openly on the uh, the rainbow spectrum. Yeah. So you were just like, okay, like, we're just not, we're just not going there with the kids' education. Yeah, it's like, she's free to have whatever guests and I'm free to not watch it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's perfectly correct. So it's a free country. So you can uh, Bud Light yourself and uh, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy your diminishing funds. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not very profitable. Yeah, no, going woke usually does not give you a giant boost because the uh the commies that support what you uh what you do don't monetarily support what you do she might be funded by somebody else though we don't know yeah uh, well we don't yeah we don't know that i know the algorithms certainly favor some people over other people oh yeah so. i was like looking this up and i literally typed in m on google and it literally the first search was miss rachel well so uh, <laughs> that's amazing she's, she's pretty high up on the search on the search there. That's that's very interesting considering if you type how to donate to T R U M and it doesn't pull up Trump. Yeah. But you can look up Biden. It's coincidence, I'm sure. Totally coincidence. It's not anything to do with anything from Google <laughs> and the search engines, the algorithms. Okay. Well, I think that was enough. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment what you think. I'm very curious from the other parents what you think about this, if it's uh, acceptable for your educators that you choose to have to have uh, a radical left ideology uh, despite multiple master's degrees in the field. How does that make you feel? All right, I think we're good. We did it. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in.
you guys throw a shout out to Keegan for coming through here because uh, we had to get the kids wrangled and ready so that we could uh, bust out this 20 minutes or so. Big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. Like we've got other videos I wanted to make and we just have not been able to make a period of time block where all five kids are okay to where we could do it. So it just hasn't happened. Um, but this one was really important and I feel like the stars aligned. The video had to happen.